Today is May 16th, and as usual, I'll take a look at the new items in Halo Infinite Store and determine whether or not they're worth your money. So, this is Game Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. Starting off with today's daily item, we have the Atomic Flint Coating for the Battle Rifle. This coating has appeared so many times as a daily that I've said everything I possibly can about it. Personally, I don't think 200. When the bundle costs 300 credits, 200 for just the one is not fair. Moving on to our next bundle, we have the Groovy Pink Bundle. This gives you the Groovy Pink Weapon Coating for 8 weapons and was originally a part of the Groovy Grendel Super Bundle. You get the coating for the Bulldog, the Battle Rifle, the Assault Rifle, the Sniper, the Spanker, the Sidekick, the Commando and the Hydra, pretty much every single weapon except the Bandit. The bundle cost 800 credits, which isn't terrible, that does technically work out at 100 per weapon coating. But at the same time, we've had bundles of this same rarity this season that have the same amount of coatings, or in the case of Golden Age, which has one more, that cost 700. I know that's only 100 credit difference, but for the sake of consistency, I do believe this should cost 700 too. The coating itself is fine, definitely not my cup of tea, it's a bit of a bright and colourful one, which again is okay, but it wouldn't be one that I stick with by any means. The Champion Bundle is also on the store, back for 1,200 credits, although I'm pretty sure this is available permanently now, so I don't really see any point of it being here. The Bundle costs 1,200, gives you the, coat, the Halcyon Days coating for Rukshasa, Yoroi, Mark 5B, Mark 7, and Eagle Strike. Alongside this, you also get the Oddball Champion Stance, the Fastball Emblem as a Weapon Emblem, Vehicle Emblem, Nameplate and Armor Emblem, and also the Renfu Shoulder Pads, which I'm actually quite a big fan of. I do like these, I just wish I could buy these on their own, as I have no intention of buying this bundle. And again, since it is available permanently now, I feel like if you're going to add it to the store, you should put it on for a discounted price. Make its permanent price 1,200, and then put it on the store on a discount price for 800 credits, but this doesn't appear to be the case. So its appearance here really boggles me. Anyway, moving on, we also have the return of the Burgundy Spear Bundle. This gives you the Burgundy Spear Coating for Mirage, Mark 7, and Chimera. This bundle costs 800 credits and only gives you the coating for 3 cores, with a price tag of 800 credits. This definitely isn't a fair price, I think this is way too high for just 3 armor coatings. Or technically just 1 armor coating on 3 cores. Again, the coat in itself is okay, it definitely suits Chimera much better than the other two cores, I'm not a huge fan of how it looks on the others, but on Chimera it does feel pretty fitting. But that price tag cannot be ignored, 800 for just three coatings isn't really a good price at all. Especially when you compare it to our final bundle this week, the Light Link Bundle. This is the one that contains the Menachite Helmet. The bundle contains six items and costs 800 credits. You get the Tiger Plate chest piece, the Menachite Helmet, the Light Link Helmet Attachment, which can be used on a couple of helmets. I know it can obviously be used on Menachite, I think it might be able to be used on Mercury and potentially flank it. It does show it on the Cavallano Helmet when you preview it, however it is not compatible with this helmet. You also get the Socius Shoulder Pads, which are okay, and the Test Pattern Armor Coating. This is 400 credits cheaper than most armor bundles, however it does come with much less than most of those other bundles. Although I don't see this as an issue, as it is only 800 credits, and I do think Menachar is one of the nicest helmets on the game. Everything else here is fine, the attachment's okay, I'm not a massive fan of the shoulder pads or the chest piece, although I don't dislike them. And again, although the coating isn't to my liking, this is still a pretty nice one. And that sums up everything on the shop. Now to cover the other main things this week. But before we do, if you have been enjoying the shop content, I do make a variety of other things too, like I recently just dropped a top 5 villains video on Halo, which was pretty fun to make, something a little bit different. And I've also been streaming Zelda Tears of the Kingdom quite consistently lately, and making a few shorts. This is not me dropping Halo at all, I've still been making Halo content. In fact, the days I've been streaming Zelda are days that I probably wouldn't have uploaded at all. But anyway, if any of you do want to check out some of my other content, that would be massively appreciated. This week's ultimate reward is scheduled to be the Sequence Authority Weapon Charm. I don't really care for this one, so this will probably be one that I do skip out on. I was going to unlock last week's ultimate, which was the Granite Chess Piece, but I just never really got round to it. And to be fair, even if I did unlock it, I probably wouldn't have used it anyway, although that was one of the better ones. We should also be getting a new playlist today, and that should be changing in about an hour when the playlists usually do, and that should be the new Workshop playlist, I think it's called, which is going to kickstart with the addition of Big Team Heavies. For those of you that don't know, Big Team Heavies is basically Big Team Battle, but most of the vehicle spawns are changed to some of the bigger vehicles such as Scorpions, and it should create a much more chaotic but enjoyable experience. I'm looking forward to trying the playlist out when it launches later today. At least I think that comes out today. It could be next week. And then to wrap things up, we have the Spartan of the Week. This one comes from Stylix, and it's a pretty nice Mark V Zeta build. He's got the Scarlet Weight Coating, which is actually permanently available on the shop now, and it's a pretty nice one too. He's also got the Akala Shoulders, I think they are, the ones that came with Security, and I do like those shoulder pads. 
Overall, there isn't a ton to say about this build, as it doesn't have things like a chess piece, but I do like the colour coordination, and I do like the armour choices he has made. Anyway, if you want the chance to be featured as the Spartan of the Week, make sure to join the Discord, I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comments, and I'll leave a link to, the, to it in the description too. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.